Leroy's Pokemon Black and White 2 Walkthrough, Part 59. What's going on everybody? Welcome back, and today we're going to be going through the Seaside Cave, which is a cave on the side of the sea. Bet you didn't know that one! Um, but yeah, this is actually where the Geico Caveman was originally born, so a lot of people don't know that, but you know, you learn something every day, right? Now let's go ahead and fight this trainer right here, just standing out in the open. Um, and yeah, getting through the Seaside Cave is relatively easy. You'll just want to make sure you have strength and surf as well, but you probably have surf considering you needed surf to get here, but you know, whatever. Um, she's got a Heracross on her team though. Yeah, there's a Pokemon I like a lot, but it's actually four times weak to flying, so... Yeah, Unpheasant should have a pretty easy time with this. Um, I'll use a fly. But yeah, I used Heracross in my Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Shout out to Dim. And this fly will knock it out for sure. I love how he uses close combat while I'm up in the air, like, he must just look so stupid trying to punch, like, nothing, like, yo, I'm, like, 50 feet up in the sky, bro, you're not gonna hit me, dude. Um, what an upset! So, yeah, we took down Battle Girl Tia, who has a twin sister on the Disney Channel. Um, right down here, you got a full restore, so be sure to grab that. And at this little section of the cave, um, well, I'll talk about it after I fight this trainer, because you actually have two different places you can go, but we'll fight this person first. The point of battle is to train my Pokemon, after all. She says she doesn't care about winning or losing. She won't hold a grudge. So I guess she won't feel too bad when I beat her. Pokemon Ranger. Makiko. Is that her name? Makiko? That's a pretty cool name. But she's got a Vibrava on her team. There's a Pokemon I kind of like. Um, it actually evolves into Flygon at level 45, and it's at level 46. So she kind of missed out on an awesome Pokemon. Flygon's a really cool dragon and ground type. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really annoying leveling up Trap Inch to Vibrava all the way to Flygon. You'd think you'd want to evolve by the time you got there. Um, but yeah, I got up to level 45, which is pretty nice, and I think I'll switch out to Samurai here for Gligar. Gligar's got really good defense, and I'm sure Unpheasant can take it, but Peanut will have a little bit easier of a time. Peanut's like, where are my Cracker Jacks at? But yeah, Gligar's a flying and ground type. It's actually four times weak to ice. Um, and I do have Blizzard, but Surf will do the trick anyways. And a Screech is going to lower my defense, but that's okay. The Surf should knock it out. And yeah, Gligar, um, yeah, not too, not too bad of a Pokemon at all. I really like the final form, Gliscor. Really awesome Pokemon. One of the best defensive Pokemon you can get. Give me a berry, give me a berry, give me a person berry. That's right. Fork over the berries, lady. So I'll put that in my berries bag, and um, at this point right here, <laughs> holy crap! I didn't even mean to do that, man. I just found a blue shard, but uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, now if you go off to the right side, you're actually um gonna miss out on a few trainers. So go over there if you want. It's actually a little bit of a shortcut, but you won't get that dive ball, that's for sure. And I think I want to switch out from on pheasants. He got up a level. So, I'm gonna go over to Claydol. Claydol's actually still, um, a little behind on the levels, so... He could use some experience. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, what's going on, Fat Albert? Your little catchphrase there, hey, hey, hey! But yeah, we got a Pokemon battle right here against another Ranger. So yes, I can get all the berries from all the Pokemon Rangers in the world. And, uh, he's got an Onix on his team. Alright, pretty cool. Um, I've got a Claydol though, so I'm not too worried about this. I got my Earth Power, which is super effective, and I didn't even realize Voodoo's almost up a level. Um, but yeah, Onyx, as you probably know, really weak to water and grass. Like, insanely weak to water and grass. Really bad special defense as well. And I'm already up to level 45, how about that? Um, and next up is Laron. Hey, there's another really cool Pokemon. Um, I like Laron a lot. I always like the Aeron, Laron, Aggron line from Ruby and Sapphire. Um, again, a really good defensive Pokemon, but not as good as special defense. And that tends to be a common theme for a lot of really good defensive Pokemon. Um, with the exception of actually one Pokemon you can find in here. Man, your love for Pokemon hit me like a ton of bricks! Yeah, Home Alone style, throwing bricks off the roof. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get another berry there. And I'll talk a little bit more about, um, the Pokemon in here, but there's actually one trainer I gotta fight real quick. Down here, down yonder, I don't know if you guys remember 
Um, coming into the seaside cave from Andela Bay, but you actually couldn't get through because of this guy. He said, me and my rock and roll are the strongest in the world and no one will pass us. But now that you're coming in from the opposite side of the cave, um, you can battle him and take on him and his rock and roll. -a. Yeah, the sturdiest things ever, right? So yeah, this is your way of actually getting rid of this guy and opening up the entrance from Undella Bay. Um, if you find that necessary. And I love how his name is Rocky. He's like, I'm destined to catch a bunch of rock-type Pokemon. My name is Rocky. Um, but yeah, he's actually got some annoying rock and roll to deal with. And it's because of the fact that they have the sturdy ability. Because they're really easy to knock out in one hit. But it's impossible, so you can't do it. They will always live um, with one little hit point. Because they can always take at least one hit. So yeah, sturdy's pretty annoying. But then they do that. They explode in your face, man. They explode in your face and do a lot of damage. See, look, he sacrifices 1 HP and does all that damage to me. But luckily, Claydol can take it pretty well. Um, and the leftovers are nice, but yeah, he just has a full team of Rog and Rolla. So, uh, yeah, be cautious. You might have to deal with a few explosions. Um, yeah, they'll be like, is that the Team Galactic Bomb? What is going on, man? But uh, actually, since he likes to explode so much, I'll just use Cosmic Power. Um, cause even with the sturdy ability, Explosion will still knock him out. He will not live with one hit point. Oh, and of course when I don't attack you, you don't explode, but... Whatever, um, you can pick whatever strategy you like. I mean, if he uses Explosion, he's gonna die no matter what. I mean, you can't come back from an explosion like that. When you blow yourself up into bits and pieces, you're not coming back from it. Um, oh, and now you're just like messing with me. Now you're just not gonna use Explosion, but... Whatever, he's gonna use a Sandstorm, which isn't even a bad thing for Claydol, being a Ground-type. Um, but you know what? It's time to stop messing around, Earth Power. Now watch him use Explosion this turn, I'll just be like, oh, Rage! But, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and the Sturdy let it hang on! Oh, he's gonna use a Stone Edge, though. Alright, that means I can knock him out. But yeah, these battles are just kinda tedious, because it takes a while to deal with the whole Sturdy thing. Ah, it's annoying, but... I actually really like the how they made the move sturdy work like that. In the older games, it would only prevent one-hit KO attacks, like Fissure, or Blizzard, or, sorry, not Blizzard, Sheer Cold, stuff like that, Horn Drill, but really just not too useful. How often do you see someone use a Sheer Cold on you, right? Um, but yeah, like, just like I was saying with the last few Pokemon, Rog and Rolla, really good defense, not as good of special defense, which like I was saying, it's a common theme, but the one Pokemon that it's really not the case for is Shuckle, which you can actually find in here. And here's the explosion! Good thing I boosted up my defenses, though. That should help quite a bit. Not gonna do as much this time. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, but yeah, Shuckle has insanely high defense and insanely high special defense, making it the most beastly defensive Pokémon of all time. Only problem is its attack, special attack, and speed, and HP, some of the worst of all time. So you kind of get um, the best and the worst with Shuckle. Um, you can find Shuckle in the basement of this room, and hey, it's Stone Edge Mist, that's kind of nice. You can find Shuckle in the basement, so not on this level. Um, on this level, though, you can find Seal, that's a new Pokemon. Um, it evolves into Dugong, pretty good Ice and Water type. Um, not the most powerful thing in the world, but it gets good moves, and it's pretty good defensively, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna take out a whole army with its Surf Attack, but, you know, it can definitely serve good use. Um, but yeah, now that we defeated Rocky and his Rog and Rolla, he's gonna leave to become even sturdier and stronger. So now you've actually opened up the entrance to Undella Bay. So yeah, we can go back to our vacation on Undella Bay. Uh, but I actually have business to take care of. Let's not forget, Team Plasma's trying to take over the world and stuff, so... Um, let's switch up my team here. Claydol, you've done a fine job, but I kinda wanna put Pincer up to the front. So you finish things off in this video, so... Now that you've taken care of that, um, you can loop your way back around the bridge. That was kind of optional, like I was saying, if you don't want to fight those extra trainers. Let me spray another repel. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way, but if you don't want to fight those trainers, simply just go off to the right side and go down these stairs. We'll save you a little bit of time. Um, and then you get to fight this dude right here, and then you get to do some surfing action. The path of karate is the path of humanity and the path of Pokemon! Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> I guess so. The path of humanity is karate. I mean, I guess if you're a black belt and you have fighting type Pokemon. Um, and he's got a Scrafty, so... Oh, this will be perfect for Pinsir. Um, I'll show him my superpower move. Should be a one-hit KO. 
considering it's insanely powerful. Scrafty is actually a good defensive Pokemon, though. It can take hits. I mean, look at that! It actually lived. That's pretty good. Um, oh, and he's gonna use Scary Face. I was a little bit worried since my defense got lowered, but at least I resist fighting. Um, and another Scary Face! He lowered my speed so he could outspeed me, and then on the brink of death, he lowers my speed again. Where is the logic in that, man? Where is the logic in that? But yeah, Strength will take him out, so... There we go! Moxie boost, so... Yeah, that levels back out my attack after dropping from Super Power, but battle's over anyways. And we're at level 45, so nicely done. We took down Drago. And, uh, yeah, now you get to do some surfing, so... Um... This guy's actually blocking that path. I'd have to surf to go around him, but there's no items over there. There's actually an item right here on this little island, though. Conveniently placed, it's a heart scale. Who just, like, put a heart scale there and forgot it? Like, who took the time to go over to this little island patch and just leave a heart scale? How do you forget about it? Seriously. Um, but then you're gonna go up this narrow stream to the north side of the cave. I feel like I'm booking it right now, holy crap. But, uh, actually, at this point, you can exit the cave to the right. Um, again, if you're just trying to make really good time, you can get through here pretty quick. And we'll talk a little bit more about that rock in the way in a second, but I'm gonna take the time to go downstairs. Um, there's a couple trainers you can fight, and there's also a useful TM, the TM for Toxic. So if you're looking to get that TM, which I would really recommend, um, take the time to come down here. Plus you get to do a fun little strength puzzle, which really isn't that difficult. But, uh, yeah, Pinsir, let's knock these down. And the strength puzzle, I feel like it's a little- Oh, I gotta grab that item. It's a little bit easier, I feel like, because it's kind of obvious. You just have to push the rocks into the holes. And there's a Max Repel! Um, but yeah, it's not too confusing like in some other games where you just push them into random places, like completely random. But gang, I'm gonna switch up my lead member here because we have a couple of, um, fighting type trainers, and... I know Pinsir just took down that last guy, but maybe Claydol will fare a little bit better with his psychic attack. Plus, it's always nice to get Claydol up levels when I know I have a super effective advantage, because a lot of times, yeah, he's my kind of worst offensive Pokémon. So yeah, let's do it, Battle Girl! My training will never betray me after training this much. I am certain to win! You are certain to win! There's no way you can lose after all this training. Yeah, well, I've done a lot of training in my day too, Battle Girl Mackie, and you only have one Pokémon, and it's not even evolved, and you're just like so sure you're gonna win. You know, you should have just leveled up your Mianfu a little bit more, he would have evolved. While you're doing all that epic training, but... Ooh, Quick Guard! Yeah, it's not gonna do anything, so Psychic. Finish the job. Um, but yeah, this is actually the room that you can catch Shuckle in, I forgot to mention. Um, Shuckle, I mean, as good as it is defensively, it's so bad offensively, it's almost not even worth it. There are some kind of weird gimmicky moves you can use, like Power Trick and stuff, to kind of, like, change up his attacking stat, but at the end of the day, I feel like he's just kind of a pain to use because he takes so long to, like, knock out opponents. Um, if you teach Toxic to him, though, that works pretty well, considering he's defensive, but... Yeah, all you really have to do with this is just find the closest big hole and push that rock into it. And if you for some reason mess up, just exit and come back and everything will be okay, I promise. Um, but yeah, it's not really too big of a struggle. I like how just no one's ever done this in the history of mankind. These boulders are just like all just waiting to be pushed in. But right here is- oh, that's the rare candy, that's right. I, I'm forgetting something. You don't get the TM till you go back up to the top. But, um, yeah, Rare Candy is still a great item, though. And we have completed the puzzle! So let's battle this dude, and then we'll actually be done with this place. So how about that? I, Black Belt Rich, will never turn my back and run! However, if necessary, I will backwards step very quickly. <laughs> Alright, we've got Black Belt Rich, who will never turn his back and run, but he's got a girder on his team. Oh yeah, buddy, too bad you didn't have any friends to trade with. You could have yourself a Conkledur, which is an awesome, awesome fighting-type Pokémon. One of my favorites in the Unova region, but yeah, this Psychic will finish things off. And that'll get me up to level 46, and I think I'll call it a day after that. How does that sound? So Girder's going down, and Voodoo is actually just being dominant in this place. Absolutely dominant, up to level 46 now. Look at those defensive stats, man, that's crazy. But, um... Ugh, sometimes you must retreat to win. Yeah, you should have ran away, buddy. You should have turned your back and ran. Um, yeah, you can't run from trainer battles, though, but yeah, go up these stairs, obviously, and then you get to a little section of the cave that you couldn't get to before, 
because obviously humans can't jump over those little ledges, but there's TM06 Toxic, which badly poisons the opponent, meaning that um, each consecutive turn, the poison damage will increase. So a lot better than a normal poison that you'd put on a Pokemon. Um, a little more powerful. And guys, that is actually it for the cave. Now all we have is this rock right here, and we're actually going to use the Chorus Machine on it, because... Yeah, it's a Crustal, just like we were taught on Route 4, so some foreshadowing earlier on in the game. Um, but yeah, you can fight this Crustal if you want, level 42. It's a really good rock and bug type, but I don't really need it on my team. I'm not trying to battle it or anything, so I'm just gonna run away. And goodbye, Conkledor. Oh, and the Chorus Machine broke! Yeah, only one-time use, apparently. Um, but before you leave to see what's on the other side, be sure to grab this Calcium right here. And that should wrap things up for the video. So, we took down the Crustle with the Chorus Machine, and we knew that was going to be important, so there must be something even more important on the other side, and we'll check it out next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.